Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Big John TV. Taste Test Tuesday. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Eve. I'm happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy everything else that could be in your life. Happy December. And I thought we were recording for a second. There was like, and we're not recording, but we really are. There's I'm light. I'm an the red dot on the screen matches to Jamie's hat. I did not see it. So I almost was like, and we just lost it all. Happy holidays, guys. Merry Christmas. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you watching Taste Test Tuesdays. Um, limited edition, seasonal, things that grab our attention while we're grocery shopping. We're going to find them. We're going to try things. We're going to tell you whether they're worth buying and trying or skipping. Right? Right. Right. We wanted to do something seasonal. We had to do something seasonal because it's Christmas week. It's Christmas Eve. When you're watching this video, hopefully. Guess what else? This is the first video. First video we're filming. Since 10,000 subscribers. And no! It's 10,000 subscribers. And that's what? 10,000 subscribers. And guess what? 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> what? What? Um, today's the first day that we did Pop Top in December. We haven't done Pop Tarts in quite a while. So let me just say real quick, thank you very 10, much. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. 10,000 subscribers. Finally hit that fifth digit. We are so excited. We love you guys thank for being with us. You. Thank you so much. All right, so now let's get to the review. Yep. We found these seasonal items at Target. They looked good. Definitely seasonal. We had to do them today. We haven't done Pop-Tarts in a long time. But they used to be a pretty big staple here on Big John TV because they usually are fairly seasonal and always, always bringing out new items. What do we got here, Maddie? Talk about that one. We've got crisps, frosted brown sugar, cin amazing. Yep. These are special Elf on the Shelf edition. Collect three, uh, collect three coloring scenes. They're on the back. Oh. Didn't make any sense. So you're supposed to be able to buy three different scenes of these on the backs of boxes. We only bought the one, so we're not going to collect all three. But this is definitely Christmas. This is a crisp, Pop-Tart crisp. I don't know about these ones yet. It says on the top, not for the toaster. Not for the toaster. Probably means they're too messy and they're going to like burn or something maybe. Oh, like it's that they're smell. already crispy. They're already crisp. Oh, well, yeah, the to I don't care about the toaster making them crispy. I like the toaster because I like them warm. Okay. But that's okay. Jamie has already opened these and probably already damaged the pop tart inside. Hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. Okay. Let's talk about the box before you get to crinkling the bag. Okay, these are just regular pop tarts, except they they're not at all regular because these are sugar cookie pop tarts. And they have people on them. They have, these are sugar cookie. What else does it say? Mix and match. Can I open this? 12 toaster pastries in the box. It's all set. So sugar Show cookie. on the side there's that. Collect all five. So there's different characters inside. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. So some of them are the heads and some of them are the bodies. It is seasonal. It's Christmas. You see the, there's a there's a reindeer. There's a candy cane and the flamingo. I don't know. But it's a sugar cookie. That should be fantastic. So Jamie's got his opened up. Let's go like this. And like that. So, Wait, what's the heck? We'll have to open up another package, unfortunately. <laughs> they um, really should mix that and do a head and a body in the same one. Correct. I'm going to open up one more, and if it's two bodies, I'm going to be very upset. So don't eat the body yet. Is that okay there? Is that okay there? You want to open this one or you want me to do it? I'll open it. All right, do that one there for me, dear. Wait, can I see the box? I think I know which one I have. It is. <laughs> okay, oh. we got at least one. Good. Hey, guess what? Hold on. That's my head. So there's the head. That's mine. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just going to like eat this one. And see, now you can mix and match it so that you got a, a head and a body. So we did end up with all three bodies, right? So show off the three bodies first. Got the flamingo. Boom. Cool. All right. Now now that we've all handled all of these, which one have you tasted? Oh, um, none. Okay. Well, then pick one. And I'm going to take both of these. Let's taste it. Because they're the same exact one. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna break off a piece of this one. We set one to go get toasted. Thanks, Jessica. Okay, so there's a it's a sugar cookie instead of the regular. Like, see, what would you call pop, the pop tart? The regular, like pie crust. Almost like a pie crust, right? So this should be. Just be good. It's good. Not horrible, like not really sweet at all. Mm -hmm. But the frosting in the middle smells like buttercream, super sweet, super rich frosting, which is what you'd you know put on a sugar cookie, right? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really taste like that. It's not sweet at all. So is it kind of like an inside-out cookie? Yes. But even that, that frosting in the middle is good, but it's not, not horribly sweet. These aren't as sweet as I was expecting them to be. They're mm -hmm. good. They got a good vanilla. They, you do get that sugar cookie flavor. Mm -hmm. I dig that. That's not bad. And you are just making a horrible mess. Holy guacamole. All right, let's Hold on, though. I want to point out that I really think it's cute how they did, like, a knitted pattern on the box. Like it's a like a sweater. sweater. Yeah. That's true. It is a festive and a very colorful box. All right, you're working on that one. You're working on that one. I'm going to open up this crisp. Um, I've never had a Pop-Tart crisp before. This is going to be interesting. Maddie already said frosted brown sugar, cinnamon, cinnamazing. You get two of them in a pack. And there's, what, six pack in the box. Oh, these are heck crispy. I have to smell. So both of those together is about the same product as one Pop Tart itself. They got holes in them. After this, we need to try this with milk. They smell fantastic. Oh, those are so cinnamony. Cinnamony? Are they cinnamazing? Now, the brown sugar cinnamon flavor of a Pop-Tart has got to be probably one of the most classic. That and like a strawberry Pop-Tart, I think those would be like the top two original. These aren't any, I don't know if these are any more crispy than a... Is that elf? I don't know. The elf on the shelf. See a couple of different elves there. Um, they're not horribly crispy. They're not like crunchy crispy. They're like, like you toasted a Pop-Tart and then let it cool back down. Here we go. What do you think? Are they filled still too? Yes. yes. There's a pot, the brown sugar cinnamon filling in the middle, just like a normal Pop Tart. There's a little bit of a glaze on top, just like a Pop Tart. <laughs> so, these are nicer and easier to eat on the go. Grab these, you can eat them in the car on the way. Whereas handling two pop tarts and getting them toasted and a little bit more of a mess, maybe, maybe I'm I'm thinking, like hey. um, that might be. What's up? Why don't you have a microwave in your car? Why don't you? That would be convenient if you did, huh? No, I'm like, why would you? Oh, that's real. <laughs> so there's one toasted. It is probably too hot to eat. Are you team? Cold Pop Tart or toasted Pop Tart? Cold. It's because you guys don't have the patience to wait. Exactly. Is it too hot? No. But you have to try that. That is so much better warm. <laughs> Heck no. Heck no. You already ate a full one. I had the patience to wait for the warm one. That is so much I better. I get one of those. Those are so much better and warm. The, these are like, like cookies straight out of the oven. Those are, that's absolutely fantastic. What a great flavor. It does make me think sugar cookie. This does capture, you wanna try a bite real quick right here? Jamie's just in love with Pop-Tarts in general, apparently. Yeah. So guys, these products are fantastic. We love Pop-Tarts anyway. The sugar cookie one is delicious, a I great. I like to eat it, I like it. More power to you. Um, Pop-Tarts are fantastic. We love them. We always have. Good. Comment down below your favorite Pop-Tart flavor. What's your favorite flavor of all time? 
We've done a lot of work with Pop Tarts. We've probably tasted them all. Mm -hmm. We tasted them. I, I like them all. Pumpkin we... pie was my favorite. I like marshmallow. Marshmallow? Oh, the s'more. The s'more one. That was a good one. Make sure you, we're going to put a, put up a couple of cards. We've done a bunch of different challenges, including making our own giant Pop Tart, which was. And I made a mini one. Which was fantastic. These are delicious, guys. Check them out. These are worth buying. Easy grab and go item. Not as crumbly and not as messy as regular Pop Tart. Flavor on them is fantastic. Um, I'm assuming they'd have other flavors too, but maybe if these are new, they're only rolling out a couple first. But we found these both at Target. Great items. I've seen them at Walmart too. So check them out. Highly recommend. Is this so good? Delicious. Kid approved. And there's your um, garbage people. There you go. All right. Uh, I'm not mad, it's just my face. <clears throat> Next is the with your phone. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you are notified when we post all videos, especially our live videos. Make sure you click select all videos so that you know we may end up going live on Christmas, so you might want to be ready for that. You mm -hmm. can hang out with us on Christmas Day. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Bye. See you.